Hey guys, Steph Mistruck with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, I want to talk about becoming a freelance web designer or a freelance web programmer. I'm not going to get into the technical skills because I've covered that in another, another video and a, pre, a pretty detailed blog post where I list the skill sets that a modern web designer and modern web programmer, uh, programmer should know. And you, just can, you can check that up at uh, killersites.com or look through the videos here. In this video, what I want to talk about, what I want to talk about is the um, personality traits uh, of the self-employed web, uh, web um, contractor. Um, so I'll just start off with the number one trait. The number one thing you have to have is the ability to uh, be uh, disciplined and to be a self-starter. When you work on your own as a contractor, you have no schedule. You have nobody telling you when to go to work, when to start work, how long to work. For me, that's a huge advantage. That was, that was the reason why I went into contracting a long, long time ago because I just didn't like the idea of having to show up at a particular place and time uh, because you know my boss told me to. So on the flip side though, you have to have that ability to, um, to be able to get up in the morning or, or in the middle of the afternoon and actually start working. That's the thing, you have to be motivated and, and have the ability to do that, to be, be able to create your own structure to say, I'm going to do this at this time, I'm going to get this done. That is one of the key personality traits that a um, contractor must have. Number two, you have to be comfortable with, at first, working on your own. It's, especially in the beginning, it's a solitary game, you know, because you're, you're probably going to be at home and you're going to be writing code or designing pages or what have you. And you won't be interacting with people as you would if you were going into an office workspace. So keep that in mind. So for some people, that may not be something they want to deal with. They may find it lonely. I don't know. For me, I enjoy my time uh, on my own so I can get things done. So, you know, it worked out for me. So keep that in mind. Uh, the next point, you have to be confident about going out there and dealing with new people, especially in the beginning. When you first start out as a web contractor, whether it be programming or design, the first little while is going to be uh, about knocking on doors, talking to people, not being afraid to engage with uh, new potential clients. And, and, and as an extension to this, you also have to understand that you have to not be afraid to assert your particular uh, demands, for lack of better words. So for instance, when you're dealing with clients, you can't be afraid to uh, negotiate uh, a good price for you so that you can make a pretty good living. You can't be afraid to push the client a little bit and get them to come forth with, you know, uh, with the payments on time uh, or, to, or to, 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 to demand, but in a polite way, that you get paid a certain percentage up front. I've covered this in great detail in my Business of Web Design podcast series. Again, you can get that at killersites.com slash business. And uh, this is a big part of it. It's, you know, the big theme here, rather, with being a contractor and being on your own, is that you have to be assertive, not only on others, but on yourself. You'd be able to set your own structure, set your own path. This is important. And I think that's the defining characteristic. When you go out on your own, you have to at least be ready mentally to cross over from being somebody who's given a structure. And that's how we're taught in school. We're taught to comply, to show up on time, to go to the bathroom when it's time to go to the bathroom, to go eat when we're, you know, kind of like sheep. But if... If uh, so, you need to be able to, to to define your own structure to be that lone wolf type of character if you're going to be self-employed uh, web professional. Now, don't get me wrong. I use the word sheep, and that's I guess is a little derogatory. I'm not trying to put down people who work for companies because there's there's a lot of advantages for working 
uh, in working for someone. For instance, you don't have to worry about getting paid typically. You, you don't have to come up with ideas, you don't have to chase down clients, you have to do any of this. You just come in, you just have to be concerned about your part of the, of the job. So if you're a web designer, you just have to be worried about uh, making sure the design comes out nice and looks good. You don't have to worry about the back end stuff, you don't worry, have, to, have to worry about chasing down clients and getting requirements and getting paid. Uh, there's a lot of advantages. You don't have to worry about having maybe getting calls from crazy clients to call you, trying to call you at 8 o'clock at night on Saturday. These sorts of things you don't have to deal with when working for somebody and that for a lot of people is worth the, uh, the downside of having to follow the schedule of the, uh, of the workplace and to have to, to be limited in that way. So keep that in mind. Uh, these are the personality characteristics of the self-employed. It applies to web designers and programmers alike. And you need to have at least a part of that and or are willing to develop those traits and personalities if you want to be successful. And I'll just want to close up. In, uh, in addition to that, you also have to be very, very, very uh, tight with your cash. One of the key things that ruins people is that they don't know how to manage money. Now, it's, it would seem like a simple, a simple problem, right? You just, if you got, you know, you got, you know, two grand comes in in a month. You don't spend two grand. You spend fifteen hundred. You know, you don't, you don't, you save money. You know, you have to save money every month. That's a big thing. So I should point that out. When you're self-employed, you have to really conserve and manage your money because you never know when the next gig, the next job is going to come. And what you find, especially in the beginning. The, the variability of jobs will be like, you know, will be like oh, tons and tons of work, no work at all. Tons and tons of work, no work at all. So when you got tons and tons of work, you got to be socking away the cash to cover you during the downside. Eventually, this will even out where you're going to have steady flow of income coming in, steady flow of work because you're going to develop a lot of you know, contacts, you're going to have a lot of clients, you're going to need updates to their websites and so on. But you should keep that in mind. So you got to, you know, you got to be assertive. You gotta be a self-starter. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta have a little bit of confidence in yourself so you can negotiate with clients. And all, and very importantly, you gotta learn how to manage your money for the down times because you're not you're not gonna have that steady paycheck, especially in the beginning. It sounds all kind of you know. Some of you might be listening to this going, "Oh my God, I'm just gonna get a job," and that's fine. There's not like I said. I know some people do very well working for people and they make great money and they're very happy. Uh, but there's huge advantages to being self-employed. Total freedom. You work when you want to work. You work how you want to work. You work where you want to work. The tax situation, and I would imagine around the world, at least in, in North America, uh, is tremendous, tremendously advantageous. I don't know if it's the right proper grammar there, but it's very advantageous to the entrepreneur and business owner because uh, you get taxed just much, much less. You can write off computer costs and uh, gas costs and all kinds of things. So it's extremely advantageous to be self-employed in terms of the taxes. So, and it's been very rewarding for me. Of course, understand from my perspective, I, I started my first company when I was 19, so I haven't worked for anybody since I was 19 years old. And, you know, when I was 19, I was a bouncer in a nightclub. So, you know, I may not be the best... Um, judge in terms of weighing what it's like to be self-employed business owner versus uh, being an employee working for an established company. Anyway, I hope you found this video blog useful. I'm Steph Mischuk with Killer Sites and uh, now that I got this easy to use camera, I should be coming out with blog video blog posts much more often.